damn, every time I look at this thing, all I see is how big that motor is. We're kind of at that stage where, you know, a guy starts to feel a little burned out, doesn't really know what direction to go in with things. Starts losing a little bit of motivation. I came out last night, we kind of got some things placed. I had the dash in there, I took the dash out. I got the steering column located where it would probably be in a factory location. So I've already cut the steering gear off of the thing. I'll probably have to shorten this up a little bit. The S10 frame that I bought came with this double D rod and some, some swivel U-joint deals. So I think that's all gonna work actually pretty good. It's just figuring out how I wanna mount everything. That's the key. Honestly, I'd like to mount the steering column so I can take that dash out anytime I want and access everything underneath it because working up under a dash sucks so we'll see if that's gonna happen or not i don't know yet i, I kind of just got things placed at this point i dug out my brake pedal assembly i'm gonna try and use that I'm probably just gonna fab it right i'm just gonna probably cut this section of this firewall out of the excursion out and just place it right in there. I gotta go dig out. I don't know where the master cylinder itself is yet, but I gotta dig that out. Ah, uh, the flooring, I gotta figure something out with flooring because it's not nice. I'm trying to just keep it as simple as I possibly can so I can get through it quicker, but I still want it to look good. I, I want it, I have high expectations of myself, which is probably a problem. So we're trying to figure some of that out. I don't know, there's a lot of rot in this floor, so. It's gonna end up with a couple cross members here and there, and we'll just start building off from that. We gotta figure out the firewall situation, but that might have to wait because I also need to figure out my exhaust. I don't even know how I'm gonna run that yet. I don't even know if I'm gonna use that yet, but it's options. I gotta, I gotta know this stuff before I start welding more crap in. So yeah, I'm basically a train wreck at this point. I'm just gonna start cutting some metal and see what we come up with. And that's gonna start in the floor area. Check this little guy out, huh? How do you think this is gonna work? <clears throat> so I got this <clears throat> one by one time between the two rockers. I cut out the original floor mount because it saves me time. Basically, I don't have to make new ones. They're already there. I gotta save time somewhere. And to me, that's a good spot to save time. So we're about to weld this to this to this on both sides. We got her all nice and level. And then I'm thinking I'll probably do another one right here. So I got this big box tying the body to the frame securely. I don't know, do you think that's gonna work? Do you think, you can, you think I'm gonna have any issues with that? I think it should work. I don't know why it wouldn't. I can't see why it wouldn't. Nobody's here to tell me why it won't. I don't freaking know. But that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I think so. So we're just... Start putting it together. I'll probably get a clamp in here and try and get, it's a little twisted. I don't like how twisted it is. So I'm probably gonna try and straighten it up a little bit. But I think it's gonna work. I hope it's gonna work. Uh, this is a super easy fit to get in. Yep, okay. We're in. Okie dokie. Sure hope I remembered everything because this is not easy to get in and out of. I just want you to take note of the bi-directional leveling I've got going on here. I got something to help straighten this way. I got a pry bar to help lift up to spot. I mean, I don't have enough hands to use it all, but it looks good. It's probably half the reason I'm so stressed about all this. I'm trying to do it all too right. Uh, looks like my tape measure just shit the bed. That's awesome. Mother God damn. <sighs> Of course, I'm all the way in here too. Oh, I got lucky, it's right here.
I'll be lucky if I get out of this predicament without blood. Cutting myself on the bracing. Everything's going fine. Everything's going fine. Yeah, this is me trying to measure and make sure we're still square. Dual levels, a measuring tape, adjustment tools, a welder, a helmet, everything's ready to go. The hell's the matter with me today? All right, so we're good there. Don't know what just fell. I'm sure it was important. Ah. Better put my helmet on. I can already see where this is going. Ow. Pretty spot on. Uh, yeah, this is good for the back, I'm sure. Really teaches you how to arch that back up. Yep. Is it gonna be perfectly level? No. Is it gonna be really, really close? Yeah. I hate this tape measure. I thought I would like a magnet on the end, but it's such a pain in the ass. Pretty goddamn close, we're sending it. Maybe, maybe we're sending it. Oh, I broke my level, so that's awesome. Spectacular day. Day is going frickin' spectacular. Oh my god. Work with me, something work with me. Basically, I got it as good as I can get it. It's gonna have to be good enough. Uh, I just realized that maybe my camera couldn't even see me for half of that, so if that's the case, oops. I'm a little frustrated, guys. A little frustrated, a little deterred, a little unsure of what I'm doing here. A little annoyed at every little thing that won't work for me. Yeah, I'm human. I am literally doing everything in my power not to just huck this thing across the yard. Don't worry. I'm not gonna do what everyone thinks I'm gonna do. Flip out, man. It is really frustrating me. But I'm not. I'm gonna be responsible. I'm gonna be mature. I'm gonna set it on top of the car. And I went and dug out my other one. This one doesn't have a stupid magnet on it. So, we'll give this one a go. I decided I had to get out of there and stretch the old back a roo because, you know, being hunched over and then kind of arching your back underneath that support. Not a real fun time for the old back, you know. It's, uh, she needs a good stretch. Oh, there she is, that's the ticket. Oh, yeah. I'm tall, it's whatever. I am gonna just put another block in here. We'll just go all the way across again. Then we'll have a nice solid structure starting point for everything else to go from. I hope, it should be. I think it's fine. It's gonna be fine. It's what we're gonna do.
Well, that didn't go all the way terrible. We got something to start with now. We have a starting point. I do, when I eventually get the car jacked up off the ground, I need to get some welds on, uh, you know, up on the undersides, but it's so freaking low to the ground right now. I can't fit my mug up underneath there to see what I'm doing and I'm not doing it blind. I've, I've, I know better. I don't know where to go from here, but I can tell you where I'm gonna go from here. I think from here I'm gonna work on getting these front mounts taken care of. I already cut me a piece of steel. I kind of coped it out. Is that the right word? Coped? Or I'm just trying to cope with this build? I, I don't know. English is hard for me. I just basically went right into the bench grinder over there. Seemed like the easiest way to do it. But she's gonna have a nice snug fit. And it won't have like a big gap. So I think I did that right. So we'll get that popped in there and then maybe I can take all this extra garbage out of here and have some room to work. I don't know where to go from there though. This is just a Hail Mary pass to see if I can progress further. Maybe we can join that to that then, and then but then we still gotta build something over the transmission. Oh, there's so much to do. Let's just get doing it. Trust me, I know I didn't do it the correct way and all. A guy should have really cut all the junk metal out, welded some new metal in, and started fresh. I ain't got time for all that. We just plated the outside of the junk metal, found some good metal, welded her all solid. She's good to go. But I am just impressed with myself on this kind of redneck engineering crap I got going on here. Speaking of which, I figured out why. Why I've been so what's the right word down on myself about getting this build done because I do try to do good work I don't try to be bad it just naturally happens so because I've learned so much over the last two cars I've built I'm trying to turn all those tricks into this car levels and tape measures and all that garbage so instead of just figuring out how to get it done, I'm trying to figure out how to get it done right. And it's like a double-edged sword that I'm fighting internally to not do things wrong. But I am pretty goddamn proud of myself on this engineering. It's probably completely all wrong. But I think it's gonna work. Try to figure out I, whatever, I'm just trying to figure out, but I got a hunk of steel clamped to a level with another level on top of it so I can get a measurement out to here from over there. I am pretty happy with myself over that one. That's right. Give yourself a pat on the back, old man. Give yourself a pat on the back. You gotta, you gotta praise yourself once in a while because well, nobody else here is going to do it. Reason number 6,342 why projects take me so long. Because I have to sit there and ponder and think of all the possible outcomes of my actions because I've made a lot of mistakes and I try to avoid them most of the time at all costs. That whole measuring thing I was super proud of, I don't even think I need to do it. I had it all set up, I even cut the metal, I don't know where I put it. Whatever, I made my measurements, I cut it, I set it all up and thought, there has to be a better way. I don't know if this is the better way. It's the way we're gonna do it though. At least, as of this moment. Mark the clock. So instead of kind of just piecing everything together to make this all work here, because I know this transmission 
is coming out the door the next time it needs to be removed. That's the plan. I'm gonna try and run a bar up underneath it. Connect my body mounts together. Give me structure for the floor. And then I got something to work with in this general direction. Then I can come down here, do whatever I need to do. I think that's what we're gonna do. I've already kind of looked it up. I can still get my oil, my uh, my pan down, which is important with this bar in there. Um, if this is a bad idea, I don't know it yet. So we're gonna keep moving forward. That's that's what we're doing. I think that's gonna let me just let me just shut the offspring off here i think that's gonna be it for this video i got no more time this weekend i gotta go pick my kid up take her over to grandma's then me and the wife are having some a date weekend you could say i might record and do a couple shorts from the junkyard we're gonna go walk through a junkyard that'll be kind of fun you also may have noticed that i went back to simon says garage basically let's just call it an identity crisis maybe maybe not i don't know you know, when you find a new pair of boots and you go, oh, I really got to have those new pair of boots. So you go buy these new pair of boots, you put them on, you wear them for a while and you realize, you know, my old boots weren't really that bad. You throw the new pair of boots away and you go back to the old reliable. I just, it just didn't feel right being Rat Rock Garage. I'm Simon Says Garage. That's me. That's all there is to that. We got this all whipped out though as much as I can. Uh, you know, so we got that bar in, we got this bar underneath the transmission in, I got this crossbar in. I'm gonna loop another one underneath the transmission. I've got space underneath where the transmission mount is. So that'll kind of square that off. And then I think I'm good on this side in the front. I gotta work on the back yet. We gotta get the other side in the front done. But just gotta keep working that progress. It's just time consuming and slow, mainly slow because I have to like 8,000 check my stuff and I still usually get it wrong, but I got to make sure I'm doing it right because I don't like to redo things. So I really take my time to make sure I'm doing it the way I want it done, not just doing it to get it done. I can't really do a whole lot with this side in the front yet until I get my steering column situation because that's kind of all tied together. So I kind of screwed myself there. No big deal. But. We'll be able to keep working and get some of this other stuff knocked out and we'll keep moving forward. It's just, we'll just keep, it's just progress. We'll just keep pushing forward. I am glad to finally be building the frame for the floor. That is a huge milestone, huge milestone. So, anywho, sorry it's a short one. It just is what it is. Thanks for watching.